where we were in Belgium to go to get some supplies. And he said, we came to the first bridge and it was blown up. So we went back and went to another one. It was blown up. He said it was three months before I got back with my group. That was the, the Battle of the Bulge. They didn't know it, but that's where they were. Where? So. Now, the battle, so his group was at the Battle of the Bulge. Well, they, he was fighting. He was, at, yeah. he was stationed at a schoolhouse okay. in Belgium. I could, it, anyway, it's over there. Um, and because uh, we went to see it. And uh, they were stationed there and they took the, the sick ones in, you know, I suppose. That's why he was there. And uh, then, uh, oh, and then he tells, it was Christmas time. And uh, he said he felt so sorry for this farm up there where the men were all gone and there were just some little kids and, and the women were there trying to keep the farm going. And he thought, they're not going to have any Christmas. He's always been worried about Christmas, you know. Anyway, so hmm. so he said he he took a whole bunch of they would they would drop tin foil from the planes to deter the radar. Radar, radar. that's what I want to say. And he said it was all over the ground. He said I picked up a whole bunch of it and I made up some kind of Christmas ornaments with them and said so I went up there one night and. And I and oh and they had some he had some chocolate candy and some you know they'd give him. He said I went up there and I said it's time for Christmas, and so the kids were all excited and he was up there and he had Christmas for them. So when we came back from Germany, we came into into Belgium and he said I would like to see that school if I could. So we drove up there and we saw the school where he was, and then he said. I wonder if those people are still up there. So we drove up, probably back, but anyway, went up there and um, they remembered him. And they were so excited to see him that it was it was worth it, you know, it was fun. And I said, when all my travels, I think the things I enjoyed were things like that, that, that you could hang on to, you know. You just walk down the street and see everybody. Well, they're, they're, they're everybody. <laughs> But when you think, and these these guys were now, oh dear, it had been, what, 20 years? They were 20, 22, three years old. And um, and they they remembered the Christmas and stuff. Isn't that kind of fun to think mm -hmm. of? He had to speak people. That's why he learned French. So. so when he, so was it a good thing that he couldn't get back over the bridge and go back to his group? Or was it a? No, he finally got to another group and stayed with them for a while, and then Helped them eventually out. it opened up. I don't, I don't know exactly. I imagine they were able to radar. I mean, um, to, I suppose, uh, phone or talk to each other. Knew. Well, they got to an American group. That's what was important. Yeah. And so it backed up until it got somewhere. Did you drool on my floor? Did she? Did, 